Hi there. This is something I wanted to show off. It's a build I did for uh, a man in San Diego named Rodney. So this is also going to be an instructional video for you, dude. This is a Corban MPP 2.0 NeoPixel with a can't see it, but it has a stock NeoPixel connector. The chassis is a Goth 3 Designs Eco chassis from the Saber Army. The quality on these things are incredible. I love them. Um, this is your auxiliary switch right here. You have two activation switches, one on the top and the bottom of the clamp card. running off of a profi board has a 18650 removable battery for to remove the battery the easiest way is to push it from here Rodney and then it just pops out and you can pull it out really easy this is your kill switch right here So all I have to do is turn it to the right. Prepare a boarding. There's a black line and then it turns on. On your lower section at the pommel, I drilled an extra hole just so more sound can vent through it easier. It sounds a little louder. The auxiliary switch is really sensitive. So I didn't have to press it hard, but it makes it really easy for swinging around and using the effects and such. Long data. So the first font, obviously Darth Vader's that you wanted. Second one is the ESP Darth Vader. When you're putting the blade in, to really get those pins to connect so you don't have any data misfeeds, what you want to do is put it in upside down and then turn this. And uh, you're going to want to get it real tight. And since you're going to be wearing gloves, Rodney, or if you're not, just make sure you have like a cloth or something to help get extra grip so you can get it nice and tight. So there's the first blade. Oh, I guess that's the second one, actually. Don't make me destroy you. If you double tap the power buttons, the force effects are uh, replaced with quotes. Tap the auxiliary for blaster effects. Hold for lockup. Face it downward, hold the auxiliary for the drag effect. Long click or long hold basically for the uh, traction. All I have to do is tap it to turn it on. I've been waiting for this thing for a long time. Third one is Kylo, obviously. With the color cycle ignition, blasters has a localized lockup. Next one is gonna be Savage, Savage, which starts off with red and pulses between a red flicker and a fire blue blade. This also has a localized lockup. And the localized lockup actually stays with the blade, which is pretty easy to do. If you're not with Next one me, is an Anakin enemy. Skywalker. You 
underestimate my power. Same thing with this one. This one has quotes instead of force effects. Music for this one. It's perfect. I feel the good in you. Luke Skywalker. K Sith LS6. I love this font so much. Music for this one is the throne room scene that he provides in his uh, second version of this font. This part is over. Next one is Mace Windu. And what I use for this is a combination of Shamim's BMF and Jesse Kirkbride's Jedi Pack with the Mace Windu fonts. And what I did was in Audacity, I combined the uh, I combine the swings, the blasts, with the in the Jedi pack with the Shamim ones. As you can see. Next one is Ahsoka Tano. The blade uses an RGBW uh, SK8 6 SK6812 by BTF Lighting, and uh, the property board now supports RGBW, which is fantastic. So now you can use white blades without having to drain the hell out of your battery. This one is the dark saber with the fire rainbow. Localized lockup. <laughs> Next one is Jesse Kirkbride's Pikachu with a yellow fire. Up, actually. For the blast. I slowed down the blast and use a brown noise flicker with white and the red, something like that. So it looks almost like a blast of electricity. There's great music with this one that came with the font. And that's the last one. Last one is Battery. And it goes back to Rogue Vader by Kasif. With a hump flicker on spark ignition. All of these have a localized lockup except the Pikachu, which I love. And yeah, so power buttons, ignition obviously really quick. Click for ignition, hold for retraction, hold for a second, let go for music. Hold for a second, let go the power button to turn the music off. Switch to the next font, auxiliary. If you hold the auxiliary and press the power button, okay, yeah. it goes to the previous font. Mm. You can also hold the auxiliary and smack it, I believe. Maybe not. Well, if you hold the auxiliary for a second and let go and makes that beep, it goes into the volume menu. Auxiliary is to turn the volume down. Push the power button to turn the volume up. That's when you know it's at the ends. And you can't go any further higher or any further lower on the volume. 
Then you hold it for a second again, let go, and then you're out of the volume menu. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy it, Rodney.